first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these uh, clips in the front right here that I told you about. You just get in here with the screwdriver underneath the clip and you pry them up and you just take them right out like this. And then once you've got all your screws out, next thing we're going to do then is we're going to remove this latch assembly here. The way you do that is you just get in here with a small ratchet, there's uh, three 10 millimeter screws. You can just screw them out. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to come, this is now loose obviously, then what we're going to do is these little clips up on top here. You squeeze these clips in with a pair of pliers, don't break them because you need to use them again. Squeeze them together and then they pull right out. Same thing with the other clips up underneath here. Squeeze this together. Take it out. And then you can come underneath here and take all of these little clips out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take it out of this, this housing right here. And the way you do that, it's just a little clip in here. You just pry that clip out from here. And then we need to really screw this out. Pry it out, and then you take the little ball and you just slide it past the latch right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down inside that fender and we're going to take the wheel well apart. We're going to remove these screws down inside here, this, 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 and we're going to open this section here of the fender up. So uh, let me take this out here, take these screws out, and then we'll come right back. You can see where the cable comes up inside here. And it runs up along the top and then up to the front area over in here. Right in here. What we're gonna need to do is we're gonna have to pry these clips out right here. You don't wanna, you don't wanna break them if you don't. I mean, you wanna be real careful. You don't wanna break them because you're gonna have to reuse them. So we're gonna get in here with a pair of needle nose pliers and we're gonna pry them out. Before you go any further, what I normally do is go up in the front of the car again, on the end of the cable here, you're going to need to, uh, to fish it through the body of the car. So what I always do is take it out as far as possible can, which we did through here. Take a wire and tie a wire onto this piece right here, because we're going to need to pull it back through again. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come inside the vehicle and we're going to remove this cover right here so we can gain access to it. There's two 10 millimeter screws underneath here. We're going to take both of those screws out. All right. And we need to get this cable out of the car. So we're just going to pull it very slightly and we're going to go up in the front and we're going to feed it through at the same time. Front, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to feed the cable through here while reaching in the wheel well and pulling it through the wheel well like that. And we have our wire tied onto the end of it. through and now we have the wire pulled out on this side over here and now we're going to feed it through the uh, the body of the uh, of the car we're going to pull it from the inside through okay I just want to show you this here there's a, there's a little tiny grommet that goes through here and that grommet it you have to rip it out with a pair of pliers and just cut it off because we're not going to be reusing it the new cable comes with one on it already so you can just cut this off and remove it because we don't need it any longer and take off this piece here we'll get grab, grab a razor blade I'm going to cut that off so it doesn't obstruct anything when it goes through there and then we're going to go inside the car and we're going to pull the cable through here at the same time so let's go back inside the car now after I cut this off and we'll continue 
and now we're just going to take this cable and pull it through and you'll notice that the wire that I tied on there is going to come through with it. All right. Now if it, if it feels a little bit tight, don't yank it and rip it out of there because you're going to pull your wire off because that's what it was. It was actually stuck up underneath the, uh, on the front there. So, all right, now, so now we've got our cable out. We're going to uh, tie our new cable on and we're going to snake it through. On the other side, next thing we're going to do is we're going to reattach our hood release cable. Okay, and we're going to reattach our housing that we took the cover off. It just snaps right back into these, these little clips here. Snap right back in over here. We're going to push our pin back in and lock it in place. Same thing with the one up in the front here. Alright. So here we're done. Let's go back up in the front. Okay, and then after we have the cable pulled through here, we're going to get a pair of pliers and we're just going to pull this rubber grommet right here through so that it seals where it's supposed to be. I'm going to do that with a pair of pliers. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to reinstall those clips up in here that we previously took out and then we're going to put this fender back together here. Okay, and that's what the grommet's supposed to look like when it's pulled through. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put these clips back on here that we previously took off. They just fit on here like that. And then we're going to put it back up underneath there where it previously came out of. Now you may be tempted to leave these out, but don't. They are needed to hold the cable so it doesn't move. Same thing here. Put it on like this. And then we'll put it back in right where it came out. Like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to reattach our our uh, wheel well that we previously took off and then we'll go back up in the front. We, uh, we got our cable through everywhere we need to. We can remove this uh, wire that we previously put on to snake everything through and then we're going to put the cable back through the area that it came out of. Remember this, this ball has to go in here like this, like that, and then this piece snaps right in here. Sure, it goes in right away. And you'll hear it snap in place. All right now, we're going to put this back on, but before we do that, we're going to put that, that cable ties back on the way they work. And remember, everything is stopped by, by hand before you use a ratchet. Just catch them loosely for now, and we'll put the other bolts in. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to reconnect that clip underneath uh, the bottom right here that we previously uh, took out. Okay. And what I always do before I uh, put the grill back in is make sure that everything is okay because if you need to adjust this latch, you're going to have to take the grill back off. So let's close it down to see how it lines up. Everything looks good. Everything lines up just the way it's supposed to. The hood is closed all the way down where it was. Let's pop it back up. we we'll put that grill in and get this job out the door. We're going to reattach our, uh, our grill where we previously took it out from. Now remember these clips, you got to put them back inside here. I always put these on first. side right here. Just pull this out a little bit, put it in place, snap it in place, and the last thing we're going to do is just push it back in, put our pins back in here, and our screws into the bottom, and we'll be all set.
push pins that we previously took out. We'll push them in, lock them in place. That's all locked up here. Next thing I'm going to do is put the four screws in the bottom underneath there. I'm not going to bore you with that because I got to feel around to get those in place. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.